A deadly shooting in the middle of an Orlando street. This scene unfolding in just the last few hours along Bentley Street, not far from Camping World Stadium. And News 6's Ezzie Castro was the only reporter on the scene when police released the details. So as the officers say, the suspects actually turned themselves in. Yeah, that's right, Kirsten. First of all, police were looking for the suspects at first, but then about an hour after the shooting, two 18-year-olds turned themselves in and they are now being questioned by investigators. Now, Orlando police say the shooting happened just minutes before midnight, and when they got here, they found a 25-year-old man with gunshot wounds. Paramedics performed CPR on him, but he ended up dying here at the scene. Now, the shooting happened between Washington and Livingston Street, which was blocked off for hours as police investigated. There might have been a dispute between the victim and the two suspects that led to a physical altercation that ultimately led to the unfortunate uh, brandishing of a firearm and shots being fired. And the lieutenant believes about two gunshots were fired out here and says they are not looking for any more suspects. Right now, the scene has cleared, and we did ask police if they will be releasing the name of the victim. They are working on that. And as soon as we find out more on this story, we will post on ClickOrlando.com. Live in Orlando, Ezzie Castro, News 6. Family, this could be pretty long, so I'm going to be very, very brief with the intro. Today, we got to bring it to Orlando, Florida, and we got to talk about a case that happened in 2018 with two teenagers that took out the life of a 25-year-old man. Well, unfortunately, um, the parents of the victim in this case had been releasing the interrogation footage after hearing that one of the last suspects had recently been released from prison on a plea deal. So, before we get into this one, remember, family, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. Let me get y'all caught up, fam. So apparently in 2018, back in the summer, four people went to a mall to do some shoplifting. They also had stolen cars and stolen identity. During this time, they proceeded to take the stolen goods, the stolen items, back to a hotel. During that time, two people ended up leaving from the group. When they returned, they realized their clothes was gone. One person ended up stealing the room key and the rest was history. The person who ended up stealing the room key was a guy, allegedly, they go by the name, Joseph Hepper from Orlando, Florida. Now the two teenagers that was held responsible, Willie Eckford and Jaquan Glover, both were 18 years old. Willie to the left of the photo, Jaquan to the right. Well, it seems as if though, that Willie used the self-defense and say that he wanted to not only get to his destination safe, but he felt as if though that the person who ended up losing his life formed a physical threat as well. Drawer. But I took mine out and put mine in there too. In the drawer in the hotel room? Yeah, well he put his up. But he picked his up so that left mine. While we spraying all the clothes and stuff, close stuff, I just it just came across my mind. I'm like, man, we just I need to get back to the house so I could get something to eat. So I get something to eat. Well not tripping. I had to get something to eat, but I just, something going through my head, like, where the car at? Where the car? It, it's supposed to be in there. Like, nobody else. You probably got yours in your hand. And then Joe just said something out of the blue, like, he said, you sure you ain't leave the card in the bags? So I dumped all the bags out. All the bags. I spread every clothes, shirt, everything out. Boom. I ain't really care about it like that's because we got an extra key it's not like we lost both keys and there's only three of us in there okay stop right there you went to the mall yeah. with joe you papa joe and that's it and that's it not the other guy he brought his dog dude. his dog yeah okay does is joe with you when you buy all these clothes yes okay joe takes you back to your mom's house did you take the clothes out of the car no. Out of Joe's car? You did not. Why did you leave the clothes in Joe's car? Because we was going back to the hotel immediately. I was just going to get something to eat. But your mom ended up taking you back to the hotel. When I got back there. Okay, so Joe takes you home from the mall to yeah. your mother's house. You leave the clothes in his I car. I leave the clothes in the car. We take the clothes to the hotel. We leave the clothes at the hotel, and I tell I told Joe to drop me off. And before he dropped us off, he was like, do you want me to come pick you up later? Blah, 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 we're going to the club. I'm like, yeah. 
So he come. So you just stopped at your mom's briefly and then got back in the car with Joe and he took you to the hotel? Yeah. Okay. And then we got to the hotel. When you get to the hotel with Joe, are there any clothes missing? No. All the bags are there? Everything. The, the room is clean. No, no, no. Time out. I'm still not following this. Okay. So you have all the clothes you purchased in Joe's car. Right? What kind of car is it? It's a Honda. Honda or Hyundai? Honda. Honda? Okay. What color? It's gray. I'm sorry? Gray. Gray. When you go into your mom's house briefly and you get back in the car with Joe, he takes you to the hotel room? Do you take all the clothes out of his car and go into the hotel room? Yes. Does Joe come does Joe come up there with you? Yes. Okay. Is that when the key goes missing? Yes. Is that all of a sudden you can't find both keys? No, we can't find one key. One, but you you don't have both. You're missing one. Yes. And that's when Joe says, spread out all the clothes and see if they're in the bags. Yes. So all the clothes you purchase, you have at that point, right? Yes. So when you spread out clothes out, are you missing a key? You can't find the I key. I still can't find it, but I didn't, it didn't, like, cut You weren't worried mind. about it? Yeah. So you're like, not, not a big deal. Hey, my buddy Joe, can you take Papa and I back to my mom's house to eat? He offered us, he offered us to go back. He offered to take you back? Yeah. So now we back, and we didn't even go back straight to the hotel. We went back, I say, it took us like a... Uh, does, hour, then does, we look. Does he stay there with you at your mom's? No. Okay, what does he say? He gonna come back. Okay, is he supposed to come back and pick you up? And then you guys told him, don't worry about it, mom's gonna take me to the hotel? And then she dropped us off. And, then that's and when, when you got back, back, the stuff was gone. So you're as smart as Detective Ferrara and I are. You knew it was him. Hmm? You knew it was him. I just can't. It, could, it couldn't be anybody else. I just can't. Because you were only gone how long? An hour, 30 minutes. So in that 90 minutes that he's not with you and you can't find the key, you but know. I know, I know, Joe, like, I won't even, it wouldn't even kind of, I thought of that, but in my head, I'm like, mm, he won't even do something like that. He he won't do something like that. That's why I would like to But it couldn't be, off, it couldn't be anybody off. else. I think that's why you and Papa were so pissed off. Because, it, I mean, it took longer for Brian and I to put two and two together, but you guys put it together pretty quick. What? That, that he's in the room with you when the key goes missing. Oh. Papa said something about it, but I, it wasn't really... It ain't come to my mind because he wouldn't even do something like... I wouldn't even see him doing something like That's that. That's because you're friends with him. So Papa, I think, saw it a little more clearly than you did because he was like... Because you're clouded by the fact you're friends with him. You're not as objective. So Papa was probably more angry with him because he... Was Papa accusing him of taking the stuff? Papa had mentioned him and said he might be in one. What did Papa say to him about stealing the stuff? He just said some of the stuff, some of the most valuable items in that room was missing. And what were they? What type of items? Uh, I had a Nikon 5200. A camera? Yeah. Okay. And did you guys, you guys paid for all that stuff, right? Okay. It's not stolen. No? No. So you went and made these purchases? Yes. Okay. So it's not like the four, the three of you are sharing and stolen goods. You made purchases, and then this guy, you believe, went in there and took the most expensive things. Were, it wasn't even, yeah, basically. It wasn't even what? I was going to say, it wasn't even like we went out on some like, oh, let's go shopping. It was just on some humbum type, like he wanted to go to the mall, we just went. And how much did that camera worth? I see, it came up to, I really can't put a price on it, but I know it came up to like at least like $500. Do you pay cash or credit? Credit. Credit card or debit? Credit card or debit? Debit. Your debit or someone else's? My girlfriend. Who's, what's her name? 
page. Page what? Huh? Page what? Williams. I'm sorry? Williams. Page Williams? Do you believe that's her last name? Do you have kids with her or no? No? So Page Williams, credit card or debit card? Card. Debit. Debit card. Do you know what bank account? I know she just let me use it for certain stuff when she at work. Okay. So is that a legitimate credit card? Is it hers? Yes. It's not hot? No, it's not. Okay. What else was stolen besides the expensive Nikon 3500? I wasn't even mad about the camera. I was mad about my clothes. How much money? Like what kind of clothes? Calvin Klein. Tommy. This whole bunch of names. Do you think the hotel card was taken away from you when you were shopping or when he walked into the hotel room? Wait, what? Do you think the hotel key was taken from you when he went into the hotel room or when you guys were out shopping, when you were in his car? If we was out shopping, I wouldn't have been able to have the car. Because you got into the room. You got, you let yourself in. Yeah. So somehow when you guys weren't paying attention, one of those keys got swiped. Who was in the room besides you, Joe, and Papa? That's it at the moment. But I know we have both keys. Yeah. And when I was looking for it, Papa had just told me stop looking for it because we know it's there. We know it's in the room. We just don't know where it's at. It got to be in the room because I had came in there with it and Papa got his out the drawer. And I would have done the same thing because it makes sense. You just had them. You just used yours to get in the room. He just got his out of the door. You know you have them. You have no reason to believe that he took it until you got back and all your stuff's gone. You waiting on me to answer that? Right? Yes. Okay. So once you realize all your stuff's gone, it's, it's, you guys are smart it kids. Wasn't on. You guys are smart kids. Everything wasn't on. Right. But the, the stuff that he could sell, stuff he could make money with. Is that who, is that the type of guy he is? Is he a robber? Is he a thief? What is he? Do you Seems know? Just like money. Once he get down, once he get broke enough, he'll do some things. But he always carries a gun. Is he, is he a guy who robs people or steals? I've never or? seen him in action rob somebody, but. Does he sell drugs? What does he do? No? He's a dog man. He's a dog man like you? Okay. He breeds dogs? No. Whereabouts? Hmm? Where at? Where at? Where does he have his dogs? I guess at his mom's house. Okay. Whose car is that he was in tonight? I don't even know. Okay. You ever seen him in that car before? Yeah. When the reason why I say I don't know because when I was at when we was at the light and I was like just take me home take me home his friend was like Willie listen I don't gotta take you nowhere and I was like I was like bro don't say my name don't say my name but you don't know me like that I don't know you why are you saying my name like you know me you don't even know what the situation is and you just you are already in it yeah don't I don't even know why it, like I really got mad because he was talking to me. And knowing that I don't know him. So you didn't like him saying your name? Not even that. I just didn't want... I, he he was just like... Every time Joe say something, he'll say something right after him. And it just got to the point where I couldn't even take it no more. And he said my name. And that's what did it. That's when I had let everything I had wanted to say out. Which was what? Take me the fuck home. I ain't want to curse with him and get hyper with him and then make him want to turn us around. I was like, take me the fuck home. And he was like, he was like, I, Joe was like, I don't got to take you nowhere. I was like, bro, just take me home, please. And then fool, the his homeboy was like, Did, we don't got to take you home nowhere because he said something like, this his car, but 
I don't know. I think it's both of their cars. They went half and half on it because he had said something like that. Like he said, I don't got. We don't. He don't got to take you half home nowhere because how this car is part miles or something like that. Something like that. Similar. Mm-hmm. Saying that that car is his. So you guys must have been pretty hot with the two of them, or at least with Joe, for for taking your shit and your. Li- so you decided not to stay at the hotel room because of that, because you thought your place was broken into. That's the whole purpose, cause I, somebody had the door open. So if I'm laying down and somebody just come in there, that's what's going through my head. Like I don't want nobody walking in here while I'm asleep. So mm-hmm. I had grabbed everything, everything, and put it in the bags, and that's when he came. And we had went outside. He tried to come to the hotel room, but I was telling him like there's nothing in there. Like we got everything that's in there. Everything you see in our hands is what's here. You could get. I gave. Matter of fact, I gave him Papa Key. So he could go check it out himself. He didn't want to go upstairs and check it out himself. Did he keep the key or did you take it back? I took it back. Okay. So the, so if he has a key on him right now, it's your key, right? Not Papa's? It'll be the key. What does the key look like? It's like a credit card. I know, but what color? White. Does it have any advertising or the name of the hotel on it? Yeah, it got the name of the hotel on it. Okay. What room number is this? 245. Okay. So if he took one of your keys, it's probably going to be in his wallet or in the car or whatever. Do you have any idea when you opened the trunk, did you see any of your stuff? Was he stupid enough to keep it in the car? No. That's why I couldn't have just accuse him for him. That's did why he ever deny it? He kept saying that he didn't do nothing, but I never accused him for doing something. But Papa did? Yeah. But he kept telling me. Why are you telling me if Papa telling you that you did something? You need to be trying to prove your point to him. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I was quiet from the hotel to the light. The light, that's when I had said my word, blue, blue, blue. That's what. So. Let me um, let me back you up and tell you that the moment you realized your hotel room was broken into, at that point right there, you should have grabbed the phone and called 911. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Because all we would have had to do once we did an investigation of your hotel room is check those door pass keys, and we could have told you what time that key was used, and you would have known you were at your mother's house at the time, and you would have known it was him, and we probably just should have arrested him. Because all we would have had to do is do a quick investigation, figure out who was in the room, check the video, go to his house. We'd have known it was him, and we would have arrested him. Ma'am, I'm not going to lie to you. I was mad at the point, and I don't need, I'm not even the type mm, to... To call us. But here's the the issue, is your anger got the better of you tonight, and you took matters into your own hands, and and it got out of control really fast. And when someone else is driving a car you're in, and you're in an argument with them... You don't have control over getting out. So you could have said, stop the car and let me out, but... I don't know where I'm... I'm not from Mm -hmm. up here. I've been up here before, but I don't know this. So did you feel comfortable getting in a car with him, even though he was angry? Yeah? Okay. I didn't know... Now, if he would have said that before we got in the car, I would have never left my hotel. I would have called an Uber home. Right. But even th- when he gets there and he's upset, he's upset for you or he's upset at you? Both. Okay. He was upset your stuff was stolen. And he was mad that I didn't even say he had the stuff. I never said he had it. I so never said he had it. So he probably just was overreacting or assuming? And all I was saying, just take me home, take me home, take me home, take me home. But Papa was getting on him about it. Mm-mm. No? Papa kept, Papa got anger issues, so he said, what? Oh, yeah, Papa got anger issues. He was, so he was getting on him about it, about the stuff. He was trying to, he was trying to get him to say it, that's, to say, to say he, he did, did it. it. Mm-hmm. So he was saying stuff like, oh, all right, it was three of us in the room. One of the kids in the drawer. One of the kids was on us when we came in. How anybody got in the in the room? And before I left, I made sure I put the the lock behind the slide door so nobody won't get in there. 
and I'm not worrying about the front door because you gotta have a key. Right. So even if you was the the best thief Burnley. in the world, mm -hmm. you couldn't get through there unless you had a copy or a duplicate of the mm -hmm. key. Right. So my kid. Oh. So you don't even need to need to be the police or detective. You guys figured it out. He, I just didn't want to believe it was him. I didn't want to say it was him. Have you, have you, has he ever taken anything from you in the past that you're aware of? That's, no. Does he owe you money? No. Do you owe Do you owe him money? No. Okay. So it's not like he took the stuff in exchange for a debt you owe him or anything like that. Is that Is that accurate? He did not do that. No. You don't owe him anything. No. Does Papa owe him anything? Papa and him don't even associate. Don't even know each other. You're his friend. Yeah. So you see how quickly this escalated? Have you seen him get angry before? Joe? Not yet, and yes. he likes to get gunny. Gunny? That's Explain why. that. I don't know these streets. Man. I know when we came out, we had made a right. Unless I'm wrong, I think you said you've been here for two or three years in Orlando. I don't. That don't mean I know these streets like that. So bro. you don't know Colonial? I heard of it, but I don't know which one is that, bro. Okay. It, you didn't have any problem getting to Lake Man, though, did you? I know how to get to Lake Man. Okay. Because that's obviously why I done been there multiple times. I think it would have been the way I remember the streets working. If you take the car, you say, bro, you get your car back when I get my shit back. Bro. I wasn't even accusing him of that. It was just take me home, take me home, take me home. That's what it was. You could ask his homeboy, Papa, or he gonna lie because it's him. But well, let me ask you, me ask you this question. Um, his homeboy. You said you don't know him, right? I don't know. Does he have anything against you? They have any beef with you? What beef does he have with you? Me and Joe probably don't have a... I don't know. I don't really... I really don't know why he... He just... He just do that. I don't know why. So he's got beef with you? For... I don't know what You don't reason. know why? No. So what reason would he have to lie tonight? Did he do anything wrong? Doesn't sound like it. He's with a compulsive liar. Who's the compulsive liar? Joe! Sir, right now, I, I'll pay you. I'm just trying to understand what reason he has to lie. That's the point. Joe will lie about anything. Not Joe. I'm talking about his friend. What reason Look does he have to lie? Look who he's with. You hang with him. Okay. And the reason why me and Joe fell out because we ain't even that and plus some line shit. They ain't been nothing like that. He hanging with him because he... Dude is a gook to him. Like he's he's a he's a dummy to him. He's a run over man. He just somebody there who gonna listen to whatever he say, do whatever he say, do. What's that guy's name? Excuse me. I don't Sorry. know What's that, that name. Guy's name. I don't know. Is his there name. a nickname? No, I know how he look. What does Joe call that dude? You said he's a, a white black or Spanish. He he's he he's he light skin. Light skin. Light skin black or light skin Hispanic? Like Hispanic. Like I Hispanic? With a flat top. About how old? You said how old? Yeah. See, he got to be in his 20s too. Any facial hair? Yeah. Beard or mustache? Both eyes. A little bit both. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say. I, I think. Listen, Willie. Here's here's the thing. Okay. Well, I just got me at the wrong time. Okay. That's all. Well, listen, listen. We're here to get the truth. Okay. That's all we're here to get. All right. And I don't know if you've ever heard this before or not, but when we get into situations that are beyond our control, sometimes we we do things that make it worse. You understand what I'm saying? If our intention is one thing and it's something else happens instead, yeah, it went to shit, but it wasn't your intention. You understand what I'm saying? But when we when we don't 
when we don't say exactly what happened and then move on from there, it gets worse. It compounds and compounds and compounds, okay? You love your mom. Who's the first person you went to? Your mom, right? So the problem is, the story here, what we've got just isn't making a lot of sense, okay? So what we're here, listen, what we're here to do is get the truth, and what we're here to do is make sure we understand each other, and make sure that we go and say, listen, Willie messed up. Willie's sorry, okay? But putting it on somebody else isn't saying you're sorry, okay? you got to understand what I'm saying. If this was a bad decision that you and Papa made, if it was Papa's idea, we need to know all that we stuff now. We need to listen. Do you want to take a lot of time? Because yeah. it wasn't even you know planned, what? bro. If we, I know. It but wasn't but, but planned. As, None as of that it, wasn't as planned. As it, it just something was planned. came out of this despite really, how really, really, the whole thing doesn't make any sense, I'll tell you right now. It's not going to fly. To you. It's not going to fly. All right? Okay? So do we want to move on beyond this, or is this what we're going to stay with? Because the fact of the matter is... Do you want me to paraphrase how, how no, it went, or what? I want the truth, okay? And, and what we want to do is be able to say that, you know what? Yeah, you were scared, okay? So when you first came in here, you told us some stuff because you were scared, okay? But at the end of the day, you felt sorry, and you did the right thing. Is that what you want to do? Do you want to be able to say you did the right thing? Do you want to be able to look at your mom and tell her you did the right thing? Because at the beginning, this is the start was the right thing to do is to come in here and say, yeah, you know, I'm responsible. That's a man. Okay, but at the end of the day, when we start filling in blanks with stuff that didn't really happen, then we have uh, problems, okay? All right? We can work with more of, you know what, all we're going to do is take the car. All we wanted to do is take the car. And then he, he, he grabbed the gun, he did whatever, and I had to do what I had to do. We can work with that. But this whole thing just doesn't make any sense to either one of us. That, that ain't happened. That's why I'm telling you exactly what happened. Okay. So I'd be lying right now if I tell you something different. I don't want you to lie. But you understand you've changed your story about three or four times as we sat here. You understand that, right? I don't said it in different ways. Mm -hmm. I didn't change my story. Willie, li Willie, listen. No bullshit aside now. Let's talk, okay? No bullshit aside. You've, you've added so much to the story that you didn't tell us in the okay, beginning. I sir, opened the floor up to you. No, we're not going to argue about this anymore. I opened the floor up to you, and you told us, and then more stuff comes out. More and more and more. You know what that looks like? Is anybody anybody with half a brain is going to see it. It's called fabrication. It's called lying, Willie. Okay? And I've given you the chance. She's given you the chance, and that's fine. But, but you the know problem, what? Though, sir. The problem is you made a mistake tonight. No, the problem is yeah, you, listen, that really, too. The problem is no. you made a mistake tonight. I made a mistake. Yeah, and I you and the problem is you were mad and you let anger get the best of you. That's what the problem no, is. I didn't. Listen, man, I've sat here and watched you. You know how many times you've flown off the handle right here no, sitting I here didn't. talking to us? How many times? Four, five, maybe? Six? This ain't falling off the handle. So oh, it's not? Sure. So it gets worse? Flying off the handle, it's called. And, it's, and if that's if that's your temper, then no. you got upset just because a man mentioned your name. Yeah. I'd say you have it. No, say you have that was because it's disrespect. Everything that's already boiled up for right. me uh -huh. to say something. Right. It, he that that came from what Joe was saying. Plus this done got stolen. Plus him. So that just put the icing on the cake for me to say something. I was quiet. Mm -hmm. You were just saying, take me home. Take me home. Take me home. In a car that you didn't need to be in because you could have called Uber and got a ride home. <laughs> right. Because I already know my. I just uh, want to make sure I understand that. Yes. I, I would be, the, I can tell you, Yes. I can tell you, if someone took the shit out of my house, that'd be the last car I'd be getting into voluntarily. But, ma'am, it wasn't like I just blamed Tim for I didn't even care about it because I could have I got another one. It would have took me a couple days to get another one. You can't tell me you didn't care about it. You were angry and pissed. Yeah, I was, I was mad, but I didn't care about it to where, like, I wanted to see hard now who 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 came in the room because if that's the case, I could have went to the the front desk and got the surveillance. But I just didn't want like the but fact that's like not, the door. But that's not open. how streets work. No. The streets don't call the police. The streets no. handle the streets. So you're not gonna go call the police and get surveillance. You're gonna handle your business. You and Papa knew what time it was. No, because that's how we y'all making it seem like we making. It. No, because Papa, Papa's reaming his ass. I mean, you're not saying much because you don't want to believe it's him. 
Papa's not friends with this guy. He's not. I'm telling you. And he knows friends. it's him. We all, everyone in this room knows it was him. He's a thief and a liar and a bad guy, okay? He but is. you, now, you don't understand. Yeah, I know this and all that. I'm friends with you. But I personally wasn't accusing him for that. All I was using him is for a free ride to get home. And halfway into our ride, him and Papa, blah, 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 blah. At any point, was that firearm in your hotel room? No. Was there any firearm in your hotel room? No. So everyone we interview involved in this is going to tell us that that firearm was not in your possession yes. before you got in that car. Yes. They're going to tell us that. Yes. That gun came from underneath the seat, and that gun belongs to Joe. Yeah. You could call a blind eye right now. A blind eye right now. And this person, know, some of these people know Joseph. These people who hang with this man, friends like we done been friends with him. They will tell you where this man keep his most valuable thing without me even being on the phone. So you're cool, you're, you're, you're cool with Joe. Lamar, you're cool with him. He's a good friend of yours. He's not a good friend of mine. It's like when, whenever we do business every now and then, like we hang with each other in like how we used to be like everyday type stuff. So if you guys were, oh, I get, maybe I get lost again, but if you guys are pissed off and, and yelling and cursing at him and stuff, I work. Who called him and asked him for a ride? Matter of fact, I didn't even ask him for a ride. How did it happen? He said he was on his way, and I just said, since you're on your way, I'm going to just get a ride. And he just said, yeah, I'm going to drop you off. Okay. Now, 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 yeah, matter of fact, he said he was on his way. He kept saying he was on his way because we were finna go to the club. How, how much you keep remembering as we talk? I like that. That's cool. On his way to do what? He said we was finna go to the club. He had three bitches in the back seat. Did he? No. So who was in the car when he got there? The dude that was in his his homeboy. That's it? He had made up a quick little it's last song about his brother just dropped the hose off the downtown. So I was like, all right, I don't even care. I didn't I wasn't even finna go down now. I was finna go home. Did he think you were still going downtown? No, he know I was going home. And that's why he was getting mad. It's like the more he he like the more quiet I've been, the more mad he was getting. The more. Where's Joe's phone right now? I don't know. It probably is, is it on him. Car? It's probably on him or in the car. But he got an iPhone. iPhones don't lie. You can't erase messages forever. What messages are those? On my way. Okay. I don't think it's. I don't think it's uh, in doubt that he picked you up. I mean, that's pretty clear. Is there no? Because you're making it seem like. I see how y'all seeing it right now. Y'all making it seem like, okay, since my shit missing, I want to get him as a revenge. I know y'all know that's how the streets work. That's that they in this case I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Just because of what was took. He ain't take every he ain't wipe me naked for my money, my my I'm not You said these were the clothes, the clothes bothered but if, you. But if it meant nothing to you, you guys shouldn't have been arguing. You right. You right. I mean, if you weren't angry and you're cool and you're like, well, shit, we homeboy Truth got it. Truthfully, the, the, the situation should have never escalated that far. You're right, because you wouldn't be here if it hadn't. No. So that tells me you were, I mean, I, I know you're saying now you weren't as upset about it. In a couple of days, you can go get it. But at the time when it's happening, you were upset. Yeah, I was and hot I, in my mind. As I, was I would have been. I was hot. Can I, I was hot. Can yes. I, okay. Can I, let me ask this question. I'm gonna, maybe I understand. If we think it's a hotel we think it is, over there at the, uh, the corner of Tampa and and, uh, and Colonial, where did you guys go when they picked you up? They picked you up from the hotel. Where did you go right from there? Because you didn't go right down Tampa. Mm -hmm. I don't know the streets. So how long were you driving around before he pulled the car over where he pulled the car over? Like, right around the corner. It had to be right around the corner from that. Or down that, bust that first right all the way down to that first light. And then what? That's when he put it in reverse. Well, he busted you. 
and then he went around. He had pulled up on the the fur the the closest corner. He pulled up inside the door. That's when he got out. Were you guys arguing on the phone? No. So where? How did this argument start? Me and him never started arguing. The argument. The argument. That's what oh. I'm saying. The argument. How did it start? Um, cause he could. Because Papa, no, he kept saying, y'all think I took some shit, and nobody has said some shit, so basically you snitching on yourself, like, you telling on yourself, a nigga ain't say you got something. How you know something took if you ain't even here? That's what he's saying. That's what Papa's saying. Papa's saying. Oh, okay. In the car, so you get in the car, and everything's okay until Papa starts talking to him about this. Mm-mm. He was already running his mouth, and Papa just... Papa got anger issues. He kept talking, he kept talking. Then Papa just exploded with like, bro, bro, bro. How you think a nigga dumb or some shit like that? Blah, 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 blah. I wasn't even entertaining it because I I just needed to get home. That's all was in my head. Get home, get home, get home. I ain't even argue with Joe over the phone. I ain't do none of that. I ain't text some crazy time. I'm going to beat your ass. Because if I really wanted to or some shit, I would have said some shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, Papa hit him when he's in the car? No. Well, Papa's just as mad as Joe is. Yeah. Okay. So they got out to fight. Let's be real. You can say that. It wasn't like Papa sitting in the back seat, like cowering because Joe's so big and he just snatched him out of the car. It doesn't sound like that at all to me. No. They got out to fight. Mm-hmm. Papa didn't step out intentionally to fight. No. We didn't ha- I mean, he didn't have a choice. He certainly could have stayed in the back Papa seat. Wasn't, Papa plan wasn't to fight this man. I know Papa didn't want to fight this man. I know he didn't, bro. It sounds like they both wanted to fight. If that's what y'all want to say, then y'all can say that. I mean, if he going to run his mouth, he better be able to back it up. You're right. So you going to sit in the back seat behind this man when he's in control of this car and run your mouth? That's why I wasn't even talking that much because he's in the driver's seat. He needs he he can stop the car anytime and tell a nigga to get out. Yep. But Papa still made a choice to get out. Papa I mean it's just it's just it's just bravado. It's just you guys Run your mouth. Okay, so now we're going to escalate this into a fist fight, and then the fist fight turns into a gun battle. No, he there was I, no agreement to fist fight. He said, I will beat y'all ass. And before that, he said he already mentioned he keep his guy in it. So already, you, you got take, pressure on take your Take that team. out of it, because that's gone. You have that. Take that out of it. He mentions it, but you took, the, you took that out of the equation the minute you put it in your pocket. At that point, you're the big man on campus. Here's, here's, here, I, but again, let me ask, let me throw this question out to you because I'm just trying to understand it. You, you, you have this gun, and you say this Lamar guy is so big that you guys are scared of him because he's so big, right? You said he can handle you guys. That's pretty much what you told me. I'm not scared of him. I just know what he can do. Which is what? Overpower me, obviously. Okay. All right. So was he overpowering uh, Papa when you got out of the car? It looked like it. And you had the gun, right? And, and he was overpowering Papa. He was a deadly threat to him. Do you think you would have been justified to shoot him right down in there when he's overpowering Papa? Probably. Probably, but you didn't. Why not? Why did you even point the gun at him and tell him to stop? Because he didn't. He wasn't really doing nothing really major. It was some tussle, but once it looked like he wanted to touch me more than Papa did anything. So the Do you, way you understand what I'm asking though? Like, you have a deadly threat situation and you didn't use deadly, you didn't even take the gun out and point it at him. Because you time. see it, you hmm. see this. I, I'm, you I'm not. You didn't tell him to stop. You didn't, t- you didn't tell him to stop. You didn't point the gun at him. You didn't tell him to stop. So what's the point of having the gun at that point? It's just so when he touches me. Oh, okay. So it's just so as long as as long as you're protected, screw Papa, basically. No. I just want to make sure I'm understanding that. No, it's not like that. But what's it like? The reason why I didn't pull the gun out is mm-hmm. because I didn't have no, 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 no causes to pull it out. So he's not he's not hurting him that badly. It's just a, a tussle, a wrestling match. No, it's just that I could, even if he did have a gun on him, if I would have pulled the gun out right there, that just that's 
That is that that's a free case right there. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's a free case. Free Just case pulling the gun out. What do you mean? You can say what you say right now, cause right now, like, yeah. in my case, he came at me. He touched me already. Second time, I'm not gonna let you touch me. The reason why I didn't pull the gun out the first time, cause he didn't touch me at all. I thought you said you he knocked you to the ground. He did. The reason why I didn't pull it out while he was tussling it with Papa because he wasn't touching me. Okay. Mm -hmm. But once I got over there and that happened, boom. Now after that, I didn't. You come and running towards me with your hand. I can't do nothing but. Why get out of the car with the gun in the first place? If you said he's not a deadly threat to Papa at that point in time, why get out of the car with the gun in the first place? Bro, I don't know what this man got on here. I don't know his intentions of getting out, bro. I don't know what's his whole purpose of stopping this car. Not to just let us he, out. He got out of the car and he started tussling with He could have let us out on the side of the road where we was right there. Is it possible that he was stopping the car? But you took us out? in the car where some is dark it, at. Is it po well, there's, there's street lights over there. Is it possible that he was stopping the car to let you guys out? Is that possible? No, because he would have let us out right then and there. He put it in reverse and drove down that street. He never put it in reverse. He stops the car right there. What? It's on the video. Hell no. Nah. Y'all not finna sit here and tell me that he did that you because put the I car reversed when you got in the car and left. No. Yeah. Joe had backed that car up and went to that corner, bro. I don't know exactly what's the name he of that corner. He pulled right in the corner. Where he is shot at, that's where he pulled up at. He didn't back it there, he pulled it. He um, didn't back up Okay. I, I guess I, again I'm just trying to figure out what the deadly threat was. Because he's that big, it's what you're kind of telling us is he's that big and he's that overpowering that you really guys didn't have much of a choice but to have this gun. Yet you didn't use it when he was overpowering Papa. Papa is bigger than me, bro. But you say he's about your size. He is my. Okay. See now you you trying to get into you every said. detail. You trying to get into every detail. Well, that's what we do. I see that. And don't you think it sh don't you think it should be scrutinized? Would you agree it should be scrutinized? If yeah. you did right, scrutiny does not going to hurt you, is it? No. So it shouldn't bother you that we want to get into every detail. It has to withstand this test because the next test is going to be a lot harder. Okay, we have to know what happened because you're saying you're justified and you were using self defense. That's been the, that been that from the get go. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. That is what that is your that's what you're saying. We can't just agree with you. We have to prove that you're not lying to protect your own ass. I know that you gotta do that with everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd love to sit here and say, okay, you're good, you get a freebie, but that we wouldn't be doing our job if we did that. So. We're scrutinizing everything you're saying and making you go over every detail again and again because the next test is going to have to be a hell of a lot harder than this test. I don't know what test you guys are trying to run, but I, I'm telling you exactly what happened. The only reason why I keep, well, I'm not keep doing that, but the reason why the story is the same thing, I'm just putting it in different words. Okay. My mind is everywhere right now, bro. I'm 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 here right now, but well, I imagine you've never been in a situation like this in the past. Is that true? No. Not true. Wait, what? Wait, what? I imagine you've never been in a situation like this before. Oh no. You ever been in any trouble? When I was younger, yeah. Okay. Not since you turned 18. I ain't been in trouble in like three years. Okay. Have you ever fired a gun before? That was my first time. Tonight was your first time? Hell of a first time. On the same page, you understand you can't. In the state of Florida, you can't take a firearm, stick it in your pocket, unless you have a concealed weapons permit. You understand that, right? Yeah. Do you have any felonies as a youngster before you turned 18? Are you a convicted delinquent? No. Any gun charges before you turned 18? 
I don't even deal with guns. I okay. don't like guns, bro. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm not even that type of person that will put. If I wanted to kill him, I would have pulled that out right then and there and shot him wow. if that was the case. But the same thing can be said about him. If he wanted to kill you, he could have taken it out and shot you. But he didn't. He couldn't do that because he was tussling. Yep. All right, well, sit tight. Now, we're going to continue our investigation. We'll be back. Can you use Russian? Why do I got to be in this room? Why? Because this man lost his life and we got to figure out what happened, okay? All right. So, do you need to use the restroom? How long do I have to be in this room? As long as it takes for us to figure out what happened to him. Now, in the next video, you're about to see the interrogation from Jay Kwan, who was also 18 years old at the time of this incident. Well, apparently, he wasn't a shooter, nor had a firearm. But he was key to this because apparently during his interrogation, he recalled a lot of key moments in the case. And that's mainly because detectives was using the tactic that you all are probably aware of, of blaming, saying the other person he was arrested with was putting a blame game on him. Check it out. What's interesting about you? What's good address for you? Uh, 4653 Carter Street. Whose address is that? Mom. Mom? What's mom's name? Avis. Glover. A V I S? Yeah. Glover? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Detective Brian Ferrer of the Orlando Police Department. Today's date is Thursday. June 7th, 2018. The time is now approximately 0840 hours. This is an interview taking place at Orlando Police Headquarters in CID interview room number four. Also present is Detective Teresa Sprague of the Orlando Police Department and Jaquan Glover. Uh, Mr. Glover, if you could just say your name and give me your date of birth, please. Jaquan Glover, 0419-2000. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Mr. Glover, can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony shall give in this case should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, we're trying to figure out what your involvement is in all this, okay? But for us to talk to you, I want to go over these with you, all right? Mm -hmm. um, they're for your protection. It doesn't mean anything one way or another, all right, as far as going to jail or not going to jail or anything like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Okay, see, yes. here's the problem. I don't want to misconfuse head, sh head shakes because sometimes a yes could look like a no and vice versa. So I really need to make sure you understand these, okay? Okay. So yeses or noes, all right? And if you don't, it's no big deal. You ask me and I'll explain it to you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. No pressure. All right? So that's a yes on the first one. So you understand? Yes. Okay. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. You cannot afford a lawyer. I want one. Won't be provided for you before a question without charge. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? Huh? Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. 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 Okay, you gotta think about that for a second. Did anybody that transported you over tell you if you told us anything that you would be let go or anything like that? Did they what? Did anybody tell you that if you told us specific things, you would be let go, you wouldn't be in any trouble, or did anybody promise you? No. No? Did anybody threaten you and say if you didn't talk, you were going to get beat up or anything like that? You said an uh, officer? Yeah, anybody. No. No. Okay. All right. So with all that being said, we, we want to talk to you about what happened tonight, okay? Or last night. All right. So, how did you wind up here? I don't know what. How did you wind up here? Tell me what happened. Uh, you want to hear the story? Mm -hmm. What happened? Please. The guy he, the guy that was driving, he he, he was taking us home. Me and uh, my friend, he was taking us home from a hotel. Mm -hmm. And he had his friend in the car, I guess, or mm -hmm. somebody. 
and I guess he was already mad because they were arguing. Mm -hmm. So he was driving like reckless. Mm -hmm. So we we telling him like calm down. Mm -hmm. And he getting mad at us and started arguing with us and going back and forth with us. Mm -hmm. And he stopped at a red light and we was telling him like go like take us. Mm -hmm. And he was saying no, he'll sit here all night. Mm -hmm. So we said just turn around, and take us back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. He turned around but he didn't take us back. Okay. What happened now? He was saying that he'll stop the car and beat her ass. He said. Okay. Why would he say that? I guess he was mad. At oh, what? About us, like, arguing with him and stuff. Okay. Let's go back a little bit, okay? And then we'll, we'll move forward. What does everybody call you? They call me Papa. Papa? Yeah. Okay. Well, not, not everybody. Some okay. people call me Papa, Corn. Who calls you Papa? Like my household and like people that are really close with you. Yeah. Family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's your friend? You said the guy I was driving was taking me and my friend home. Who's your friend? The other guy. What's his name? I call him Jay. You call him Jay? Yeah. Who's Jay? Jay's the one who's driving or Jay's your friend that you're taking home? The friend that was with me taking home. You call him Jay? Yeah. How often do you call him Jay? Like, that's what I call him. What's his family call him? Willie. Okay. The guy that was driving, what's his name? I don't know him. You don't know him? Mm -hmm. When was the first time you ever saw him? Last night. Last night? Yeah. Okay. Where did you see him first? At the hotel. That's okay. What hotel? I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's over there by uh, the Magic Mall. Whose room is it? It was me and my friend's room. You and your friend who? With it. Okay. But yeah, we, it wasn't in our name, but. Okay. What time, what time is that at that you saw him at the hotel room? I'm not sure, it was night time. Night time? Where'd you guys go? Did you go anywhere? We were dropping this off. Where at? To uh, my friend's house. Okay, if we're gonna keep talking about your friend, if his name is Willie, let's keep calling him Willie, okay? Because I don't want to make, I don't want to interpret that as somebody else. Okay. Okay. So he, he took you to Willie's house? No, we didn't make it there. Where'd you go? I, I told you what happened. At the light, we had to stop, and he turned around. Oh, okay. What about earlier in the day? I was I was at uh, Willie's house, mm -hmm. just sitting over there chilling. And then where? Then the hotel. Mm -hmm. And then where? Then that happened. That's it? Yeah. You leaving some stuff out? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Glover, listen to me. Okay? You're a young man. You're 18 years old, right? Yes. You have your whole life ahead of you. Yes? Yes. Okay. Have you ever been arrested before? No. Okay, so this is all new for you. Mm -hmm. So you have to weigh very heavily the decision you're going to make right now because it's going to affect the rest of your life. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. The rest of your life. So start thinking. Okay. Because when you leave stuff out, you know what that's called? That's yeah. called a lie of omission. Okay. And lying to me is not a good thing. Do we understand each other? Yes. Where did you go? Day. Don't leave anything out. Try it again. I don't go anywhere to. Uh, you, do you think I'm worried about some credit card fraud stuff? Do you think I'm worried you about? Do you think I'm worried about today being Thursday? He's playing some Wednesday. Antics. Do you think I'm worried about credit card fraud? I don't do that. Or theft? You were with somebody who did it. Okay. We know about all. 
So oh, just let's, let's let's talk. The stuff you guys took. If you're gonna not talk, then we're gonna have to go on what everybody else told us. And guess what? Your friend, the one that you didn't want to tell us his name, threw you under the bus left, right, and center. Yeah. He what? Oh yeah. You know what throwing under the bus means? He he's putting all this in your court, saying that you're the one that's responsible for all this. You understand that? You understand? Responsible for what? Are you, so you're gonna. This is the way you're gonna go. You were there. You know what happened. I know what he said you're responsible for it. Do you understand that? Yeah. So the one that you're you're hanging tough for, the one that you're covering for right now, is telling on you. So that's fine. If you want to play the game, I don't care. One way or another, somebody's gonna be responsible. So if you want to be the one that's responsible, that's fine. What I said isn't a lie, though. No, there's a lot more, isn't there? Isn't there? Yeah, it's more. Yeah. Okay. But so it's not really. So. Start thinking, who do you care about in your life? Who's important to you? Me. You. Nobody else in the world that you care about? My family. Okay. Do you want to look at your family through a piece of glass because you lied and took responsibility for somebody? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a big decision to make, yeah? yeah. Are we on the same page? Okay. Where'd Look, you go? It happened. There's nothing you can do to change it, but lying about it isn't going to make it any better. Alright? Did you go to the mall yesterday? Yeah. What mall? Uh, the, the outlet. Which um, one? I think Prime. Okay. Did you go to a few different places yesterday? No. Just Prime? Who went? It was me, that guy, What guy? Our, I don't know. What did, what did everybody call him while you were there? I'm sure they referred to him or something. Lamar. Okay. Or something. Okay, Lamar. I don't know if that's his name. That's okay, but that's what everybody called him? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And who else? You, Lamar, and who? And Willie. And Willie. That was it, though. Okay. And you guys went down to the mall and you bought some stuff. We'll leave it at that. I'm not even worried about it, okay? How's that? You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so when you go from the mall, where do you go after that? To the hotel. Whose car were you in? You went to the mall. That guy. Well, let's keep calling him by the name. Lamar. Lamar. Okay. When you went to the mall that day, who had a gun? Nobody. How do you know? I was in the car. Okay. Did you? No. So you go from the mall to where? To the hotel. This hotel that you have, it's not in your name, but you're staying over there? Yeah. And, and did you tell me where it is? I'm not sure if you told me where it is yet. Uh, by the Magic Mall. I think it's Best Western. By the Magic Mall? Yeah. Okay. So you go, you go to the hotel. Who goes in the hotel room? Me. All three of us. Okay. You guys had a lot of stuff? And what happens, so, do you all stay in the hotel room? Does somebody leave at some point in time? Tell me what happens. Well, today is Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. But we were supposed to leave tomorrow. No, 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 I'm talking about yesterday. You all go back to the hotel room. You carry your bags up to the hotel room, right? What floor is it on? The second, second it's only floor. two floors. Okay, so second floor. The guy, Lamar, he left. Lamar left? Yeah. Okay. He said he had to go pick up uh, the other guy he was with. Okay. And then what? Guy. Then that's when everything happened. He came, we came, we told him to come drop us off. He came. That's what happened. Did you go to Will's house at some, Willie's house at some point in time? I went before, that was before we went to the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, why did you get back in the car with, with Lamar when all this happened? What happened? What, what brought you back into that car? Before it happened? Mm -hmm. Right before it happened. You know, you told me you are driving around and you were at the traffic light and everything else. Why, why were you guys in the car? We wanted to get dropped off. Where? To a Willie's house. You going to tell me what happened with the hotel room? Oh, ain't nothing happened. Oh. Mm -hmm. Try again. We, we came back and uh, the 
I'll tell the doors in a lot. Why would you tell me that? I wasn't, like, my head right now, like, I can't explain, but. Well, you know it's Thursday, right? Yeah. You know you're at the police station, right? You know your date of birth, right? You told me your date of birth. You know your address. You know your mom's name. So your head's okay. Yeah, but okay. I'm so let me ask you a question. Why wouldn't you tell me that the door was open to the hotel room? What are you so worried about? I wasn't thinking about that. Okay. Well, listen. How many times do I got to tell you? You need to think about these things. You hear? Yeah. Because it looks like you're not telling me. What does that look like? I forgot what you called it. Lying. It's very flat out lying. Do we want to lie? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that too. Okay. So help me understand a little bit more what's going on. So you go back to the room, the door's open. Then what? We were just curious why it was open and stuff, trying to find out. That's the reason we left, because when we came back, the door was open, we didn't want to stay there. So you're curious as to what in the room? Like what happened. What happened? Somebody came in. And did what? The stuff, everything was like on the floor and stuff. What was on the floor? The clothes. Okay. Was anything taken? What was taken? It was a few shirts and stuff. A few? What do you think is a few? Like, like four shirts. Mm -hmm. Four shirts? Maybe more, I don't know. The possible it was more? Mm -hmm. A lot more? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of shirts were they? Like heel figure and stuff. No? So, what time is that at about on Wednesday afternoon that you realize that the door was open and stuff was taken? Say nine. At night? Like nine, ten. At night? Yeah. Dark out. Yeah. Okay. What'd you guys do then? And it's just you and Willie at that point in time? Yeah. Or is there anybody else with you when you realize that this is going on in the room? It was just me and Willie. Okay. But we left after that. Well, you didn't just leave, did you? I mean, there's a little bit more to that, isn't there? What did you think happened in that room? Somebody came in and took yeah. something. Who did you think did it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Think did it? Who I told thought did it? Hmm? Who I told thought? Know. You tell me. Don't, don't, don't understand. We've talked to plenty of people about this, all right? Yeah. So, I need to hear it from you. Who did you think did this? I don't know who did it. You had an idea? Who was your, your idea? Who did you speculate did it? It really wasn't nobody at the hotel mm -hmm. but me, Willie, and that guy. Named? Lamar. Lamar. So who did you think did this, Willie? Mm -hmm. So who did you think did it? Probably was Lamar. No. Mm -hmm. How'd that make you feel? I don't really feel. Were you mad? Mm -hmm. You weren't mad at all. Mm. Well, I'm trying to understand why somebody who wasn't mad would be yelling in a car. Hmm? Why somebody who wasn't mad would be yelling inside a car. Why? If you I weren't mean, mad. After it happened, that's when Lamar came back. Mm -hmm. And took us to drop us off. Mm -hmm. And he he was mad. He was mad. What was he mad about? I don't know. You don't know? No. How do you know he was mad? Because the way he was talking, he was talking aggressively. And what was the way he, he was driving. Well, what was he saying? Aggressively. Hmm? What was he saying? Aggressively. He was talking to his friend at first, arguing with him. Mm -hmm. They were sitting in the front and me and William in the back. Where were you sitting? On the right. Right back. Behind the passenger? Yeah. You sure? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Where was Willie sitting? Next to me. Okay. Who was driving? The guy. 
Which guy? Lamar. Lamar. So, he's yelling or speaking aggressively, but you don't know what he's saying. That's what you're telling me. Uh, I'm not saying that. Okay. So, what was he saying? He was saying... He was arguing with his friend. Yeah, I said something. What did you say? I was saying, calm down, slow down. Like, because the way he was driving, he got rowdy with me. And I said, just take us back to the hotel. He turned around. And he started talking again. And he messed around and said, shut up before I pull over and beat your ass right now. Or mm -hmm. something like that. Or something like that? Yeah. It was something like that. Okay. He gonna beat our ass. You accused him of stealing the stuff is basically what pissed him off. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that, again, why is that so hard to tell me? I don't know. He was already mad, though. Okay. But the main fight, the main argument was because you guys accused him of stealing your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was only three three of us in the hotel, so it couldn't have been no, nobody else. It was two cars. I, I, we came in the room. Mm -hmm. It's three of us in there. I know Willie not going to take it. Mm -hmm. So it's three of us in there. I, Willie got a car. He threw the card on the bed. I grabbed the other card out the dresser. You saying card? You mean the room keys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I grabbed one out of the dresser, and this one here on, on the bed. I grabbed both of them. Mm -hmm. And I throw them in the dresser and close them. Mm -hmm. So Willie goes in the bathroom. I turn my head for a minute. Then I come back. I, I get the key because we're about to leave and mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. But there's only one key in the dresser now. Like, where is it? Who got it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So the argument's pretty good in the car. To the point where he threatens to beat your asses. Yeah. Because you're, cause you're accusing him of stealing the stuff that he said he didn't steal. Yeah. So he pulls the car over? Mm -hmm. He being Lamar? Yes. And then what happened? He gets out. Mm -hmm. And he, he's fighting Willie. But when he jumped on Willie, I got in the car and tried to jump on him. But the other guy, he jumped on me. Okay. And we was fighting. No more. That's when the shot went off. You shot him? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Who shot him? I wasn't looking. No, you weren't, huh? Mm. No. No. Well, you were right there and you weren't looking, so again. No, that kinda that looking. kinda that kinda answer is something that makes people say, Well, I wonder what he did. You were right there. You were watching your buddy. He's fighting this guy. What were you doing? I wasn't watching him. What were you doing? I just told you. I, the guy, my, Willie was fighting the guy, Lamar. Mm -hmm. I get out. I try to help Willie. At least get, get Lamar off of him. Mm -hmm. What you were able to do? Huh? What you were able to do? No. Yes? I didn't. How's that? I only swung. I got slammed. Onto the pavement? Yeah. Or where's that from? Let me see. My elbow hurt too, I ain't getting to look at that. Mm. That looks like somebody that kind of was on the ground, like pushed the ground or something. Yeah, that guy slammed. And slammed, huh? Why do you think he slammed you? Because I was trying to help. Okay, walk me through that a little bit more. Help me understand that. So, help me understand. So, so. What were you looking at when the gun went off? I was... I wasn't looking at them. Okay, that's not what I asked you though. I asked you what you were looking at. What were you looking at? I don't remember at the time. You don't remember? Mm -mm. Really? I'm so serious. Hmm. So you just don't remember what you were looking at? Well, your brother, basically. See, see, that doesn't help. See, and this is where I get lost again. I'm sorry, but you know what? If this is my, my, he's your brother. Let's be real. Let's be real, right? Because you, you said only family calls you Papa. And he calls you Papa. He called you Papa every time we talked about you. Yeah. So he's pretty tight with you, yeah? Okay. And see, I know how it works, all right? And when my buddy is right and he's done the right thing, I'm going to say, yeah, I saw him. I saw what he did. Mm -hmm. He shot him. 
Because you know why? Because he was attacking him. He was choking him. Whatever it was. You know what you said? I don't know. I didn't see it. What were you looking at? What was so important at that point in time that you had to be looking at that you didn't see what he did? And you know what you said? You said, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't watching. If I was, I would have told you. Okay. That's fine. So you can't testify that he was acting in self-defense? As long as we understand each other on that, you cannot testify to that. You understand that, right? Yeah. And you're, you're in no danger at that point in time, are you? You shaking your head now? No. I mean, I, I was because I was fighting, but... Well, what were you fighting? Because you said you only threw one punch. What were you fighting? I, threw, I ran up, threw a punch, and got slammed. Why did you run up and throw a punch? It happened so quick. Why did I run, run up and throw a punch? He was on Willie. He was on Willie? Yeah. Doing what? He was fighting. Okay, fighting. I got that. There's a lot of different ways you could fight. What was he doing to Willie? He was on him, you said. How did that work? Like, he ran up on him. He, he, Willie was on the floor. He was on top of Willie. Mm -hmm. What was he doing when he was on top of Willie? He was fighting. I got that part. What was he doing to him? I just seen movement, and I blacked out and tried to come hit him. You blacked out? Yeah. Okay. And I got sit down. So after the first shot, what happened then? I jumped in the car. Mm -hmm. How many shots did you see? I heard two. You heard two? Second shot? I heard two shots. Mm -hmm. What happened on the second shot? Where'd the second shot come from? You don't know. The same gun, I know that. How do you know that? We had to. Why? Had to. Who had the gun? You did? No. I'm saying no. You don't know what happened, but you can say for sure it was that gun, and you can say for sure you didn't have the gun. Am I understanding that right? So he blacked out in parts of this? No. I'm, I'm telling you what happened. Well, you're telling us what you want to tell us. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> no, you're not. You're trying to help you. And you're trying to help Willie. Why did Willie shoot this guy? Lamar. Willie didn't tell me why. He didn't tell you why. He said... What did he say? I can't hear you. What's that? Willie didn't want to. He didn't want to. So why did he? I guess he felt that if it if it wasn't him, I mean, it was either him or him at the time. Like, like me or you. Why? Because like they was fighting. I saw him. He's not that beat up. Hmm? He's not that beat up. You have more injuries than he does. Hmm? I, I got slammed. Okay, but you didn't pull a gun and shoot after him. Shoot him after you got slammed, did you? Yeah. Where'd that gun come from? It was found under the seat in the car. How much time did you guys have together after the shooting? After the shooting. Mm -hmm. I could say 15, 20 minutes. It's a lot of time. Yeah. To talk about what happened? Mm. No. No, because I know I wouldn't talk about that either, right? I mean, somebody just shot somebody. I wouldn't talk about that. I don't know what you would do. You want people to believe that? Um. You want people to believe that for 15 or 20 minutes, because you guys made enough efforts to go and do what? What'd you do with the car? Isn't it late? Yeah. yeah. So, but so let me, hold on. Let me make sure I understand you right. So you guys didn't talk about what just happened. You took somebody's car that didn't belong to you. You didn't talk about what happened, and you just happened to just bring it to a lake and push it in the lake. Am I right? You said, didn't talk about what happened twice. You, you, yeah, you didn't? What you, can you say that again? Shooting happens. You guys go both get in a car that doesn't belong to you. Mm-hmm. And you make every effort to go and get rid of this car. 
So I guess what I'm wondering is, when was the last time you were involved in a shooting and drove a car over to a lake and pushed a car to a lake? When was the last time that happened to you before this one? Never. Never. So this is the first time that happened. Yeah. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you just decided to take this car and put it in a lake. Because? I didn't know the car was going in the lake. You didn't know? Willie was 18 in 2018. That means this him, born in 2000, February the 23rd. He was in Orlando, Florida, but also states after this case was filed on 7-13-2018, the case was disposed, meaning in all actuality, nobody was held responsible for the demise of Joseph Herbert, may he rest in peace. And all this was because they was using stolen identity, stolen cards to get stolen merchandise and the friends or crooks or whatever you want to call them that they was with they end up backstabbing each other which led to somebody losing their life which led to nobody being responsible in actuality fam y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one this was over five hours of interrogation i tried my best to make sure i can get it to you guys under an hour and 15 with that being said let me know how you guys feel don't forget to like and subscribe and today i'll catch you guys on the next one